What is going on guys, Bailey Sawyer here, and today I got you guys some Black Ops 3 footage, but I really want to take this time to talk about black market and speculation with DLC 2 and that kind of shit, and especially with what we have been quote unquote like promised, and I mean, which has not been very much, and we still haven't gotten any D DLC like information, we only have, what? Two weeks to go before it's allegedly come out. We don't even have a proper release date. So, you know, that's something that's difficult. Plus, black market. Holy crap, the black market. This is some BS to the nth degree. No matter how many crypto keys you use, you never seem to get a weapon. That's the big thing that pisses me off about Black Ops is the is the gun to not gun ratio, if that makes any sense at all. It's a crock of crap, is what it is. You can spend 500 plus crypto keys in one setting and not get any weapons at all. Or you can just get it out on a whim and happen to get that crap. It's, it's not fair, it's not proper. The chances are unbelievably too high to even remotely like the only way that you're gonna get some black market crap is to put money into it unless you have one in a million luck because I have been trying I have been trying I got it since the damn thing came out I've been saving up crypto keys I've been using them nothing nothing even close I haven't even gotten one black market weapon I would be happy with one and that's where this new supply drop is apparently coming into play now I have it from a reasonable source who has it from another re you know good source is Salvador my friend he uh, has told me that black market is going to be getting a new kind of supply drop a new kind of bribe just like the other one the bribe there where you would get a guaranteed specialist item pretty much the same thing but in this case it's going to be a a weapon from the black market a guaranteed weapon now i know what you're thinking that sounds fantastic and everything else but it might not happen just like double crypto keys happened one time and has never happened again and i think that call of duty is too high and mighty well i mean you know treyarch in particular not the entire call of duty franchise but they are too damn high and mighty to be like you know what let's throw them a bone let's throw them a bone let's help them out because they really helped out the community of players that one time, and we didn't get jacked for it. The only thing that we got was misery, pain and misery, because we were teased. We had a taste of what it was like to have a chance to get something without having to pay for it, and I'm sure that a lot of people were. They did get what they paid, you know, they did get it. And people who paid for the crypto keys to get more was some bullshit. You know, they were like, Hey, that guy is not paid $100 to get these brass knuckles. Screw that crap. <coughs> but that's one of the things that pisses me off, especially when they sat there and they said that they were going to have double crypto key weekend again, but then changed it to practically the most useless thing ever, the double weapon XP. So I think Treyarch really needs to step up its game in terms of giving back to the players. I'd really like to believe that this uh, new supply drop that's going to be coming out with DLC 2 is going to happen. And if I were you guys, I would start stockpiling crypto keys today. Like, as the making of this video, start stockpiling, get them ready, because these supply drops, if they happen, are going to be high up. We're talking 100, 150 crypto keys, according to my friend Sal. And... We don't know for sure again, but it's going to be really crazy. And the worst thing that could possibly go wrong, if you don't, if it doesn't come out and you're stockpiling, you still have a ton of crypto keys. You can still use them, and then you have more of a chance to get some because you're using them consecutively. So either way, I'd say start stockpiling, get crap ready, and that's pretty much all I got. Oh, DLCs. DLCs is still something that I need to cover here because we were promised greatness with Horizon Drive, and it was. It was great, 
but there was still so much more that needed to be done. Like, there need to be more weapons. We've had the same weapons for three maps in a row, discounting the bootlegger. We've had every single weapon, and now you might be thinking, well, obviously, how are they going to customize them? It's, it's black, you know, they're weapon kits. How are they going to customize more weapons than there's already in there? Well, it's very simple. You make it so that way these UAV new weapons that you're going to get with the DLC in these new maps and in the box, because we need that. We need that. What you're going to do with that is you're going to put them to where they fit. Put them to where they fit into the weapon kits. It's going to be new additions to the weapon kits. Same thing as the black market made new additions to the multiplayer weapons. Now that all goes about, you know, the camouflage and things like that and how you may not be able to use multiplayer camos. And that's just fine. I want to know in the comments below, would you guys rather have a, have new weapons but you can't put dark matter on them, or would you rather have no new weapons and have the and just keep that same crap because, oh, I want my dark matter. Let me know down in the comments below. I personally, I think they need to bring back more crap. They need to bring more to the table. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. My name is Bailey Sawyer, and I'll see you guys next time.